Hey everyone, it's Travis at the Steel Magnolia, and wintertime has finally struck here in the Deep South. So uh, we're having our first blast of cold for the for the season. Uh, a bit uh, bit unusual for it to be this cold. Anyway, I just finished up a project on the Trail Manor. This is a 2720, and looking underneath here, there's the steps right here to the left. This is the spare tire carrier. And you can see this tube that I have mounted. That's a four inch piece of black PVC pipe. It is held on with marine grade bungee cords, which have been spray painted black, by the way. And what this is doing, this is holding uh, about a five foot section of LP hose with a quick connect on it. Uh, we have a fire pit that we use in our other camper and it plugs into the, to the camper with the LP system. And I wanted to have the same on here. So I ran a line, and but I wanted I had five foot extra hose. So instead of wasting it, I now have it mounted inside of here, so I can pull it out. And with the 12 foot that's on our fire pit, well, that gives us 17 feet of uh, hose to play with. This is some of the initial construction, and you can see the hole that was rough cut in where the hose will exit. Also, the slot that keeps the cap out of the way, and that's the bungee cord holding it back. And uh, that bungee cord is marine grade, and five years from now, it'll still be working. So it does real well. I order that by the foot, uh, usually 25 foot at a time. We use it on our sailboat. Uh, there is a bungee that goes from end to end internal. Uh, there's slots cut in the bottom for drain as well. Now the hose, I had this in the shop. I also had an extra quick disconnect, but the fittings you need to know about are on the hose, 3 8 inch SAE on one end and 3 8 inch NPT on the other. The flare type fitting is what attaches to the camper and the NPT, the regular pipe thread, attaches to the quick disconnect. Now I also had to use an adapter because the uh, quick disconnect that I had was a quarter inch instead of a three eighths inch. And you can see where the new hose tied in directly behind the LP tanks. And the way this comes apart, uh, I'm doing this one handed so bear with me. This pulls off and you can see the bungee cord on the bottom and there's a gap drop that down in there and spin it around and that holds the cap out of the way. You can see the LP line coming in from the front going into the tube and I'll just pull it out. I'm not going to take it all the way out because my hands are cold. But that's the quick disconnect with the valve on it. Okay, And five feet of hose nestled neatly inside there. So I'll push that back into place and pull this up and spin it around and it's back in place and my hose is nice and protected. So the uh, the fire pit will ride inside the camper when uh, when we're not uh, uh, set up and once we set up we'll move to the outside and get it out of the way. Anyway, hope you're having an amazing day. This is Travis freezing down at the Steel Magnolia.